Hey guys, welcome back. I want to show you what's going on over here today at PC911. We got this uh, MacBook Pro over here. What we're doing is uh, upgrading the hard drive. It has a 750. We're going to a 2 terabyte. Uh, we're using a software called Super Duper. It's free. Works pretty good, except in this case we had a failure. Um, it's very slow also, so if you're going to change your hard drive and you want to do basically what's called a clone, which is a copy of the hard drive, which will boot. You don't really have to do anything. It's pretty simple. We've used this, uh, or I've used this several times. Uh, first time I run into a bug. Uh, so a couple points I want to make here is number one, a lot of these things where you read and you say, well, this is a super simple process. Most of the time it is, but unfortunately, for some reason, everything that comes here to PC911 always has a bug. And that's why it's here. Uh, a lot of times, probably people are trying it on their own. Uh, run into a problem and then they come in here they don't tell us about it but they already did all the youtubing and trying to find out and they ran into a bug i don't think this is the case with this customer but i just want to show you kind of what happened here and the things you could run into um basically if you looked at that screen let's bring that back up it it failed again i want to reiterate super duper is super slow so we might as well call it super slow duper would probably be a, a more fitting name but it does work i don't want to knock it um but we had a failure here in the copying of the files it's going to give us a log there's other ways to clone your your drive and i'm going to actually opt uh for another uh, option now here's the log of all the files that i copied and then we go down here to the end now the challenge that uh that I see here with this program is once it fails, that error, it stops. It doesn't skip over it and keep going like some other programs. Um, gonna, from here, I'm going to actually go to Acronis and just do it with Acronis, take out both hard drives and do it with Acronis. So it ran into these, uh, these errors here, and it basically stopped, and now we're starting from scratch. So when you see all these videos online that everything goes super smooth, don't get a false sense of uh, how easy it is because there's plenty of things that could go wrong. And this is one of them. Thanks for watching.